Yeah, I'll get Hong in has raised her hand. I'll get Hong in, please speak up. Show me your presentation. So I think that the academic has urged violently every uh, activities, which uh, some of them is some of them are a common activity every day. It, it is like it happened every day. For example, the news spreading or disease examination. But however, uh, this epidemic has urges so strongly and greatly, like we have a deeply uh, examined in examined. I'm sorry, examined in the in the like the core of the virus and other activities like spreading news. And it seems like the lockdown or the distance keeping Cambridge has fade, faded out the connection between human, between us, and even the interaction we have. But uh, however, in contrast, it reinforced the considerable human bond amongst the countries and continents, and also between the government and the public. We have so many like strategy debates have, have already set up uh, with the author, oh, I'm sorry, the authority, but not in person, but with the online meetings with other like websites. And so many like uh, people stand up to widely notify the information to the community so as to get the public awareness of this, of the real danger of this virus. And even when we, one of us get infected with the, the virus, with the disease, we still don't have to like strike against that individually but we have all, all of us working together against the pandemic thoroughly and persistently. We have like the widespread vaccination in the public and we think for the, the part, like we think for all of us, not uh, any selfish thoughts we have. So even with our health or immune system is declining, we, we know that somehow someone out there still think and care for us. So that is about the connection and, and the human bond we have during the pandemic. Oh. So that's it all. Oh, yeah, I've got that, oh, okay. So I've been listening to you very uh, carefully details by details. Your, okay, your title, the title that you set for your presentation is Human Connections During the Pandemic. It's, a, it's quite cool, very interesting. But the problem here is uh, every IELTS or Cambridge student has faced or encountered after such a long time studying, okay, in the university or in the Vietnamese educational system, which is uh, uh, the high school, okay, or secondary or even primary, okay, students. Uh, one of the primary students joined uh, this group is, uh, okay, then the, the secondary school students are Thao Min, okay, Hua Fu, Zahan, and the high school students. For example, so okay, so in this group we have like a variety of students coming from the different stages, okay, different stages, uh, different ages too, and uh, the the issue that we that we always encounter is uh, is our pronunciation and the ideas, okay, the uh, the flow of ideas. After 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 a long time, okay, practicing the reading or the writing skills without pronunciation practices, you guys are going to lose your ideas. If you don't speak much, you cannot, you will not be able to transfer your thoughts into into real spoken English. That is the reason why we sent you the ebook. Okay, we sent you the link of uh, 
audio book leaders last via YouTube link. We sent you the link of okay a story okay that is audio book okay story based on YouTube link. So you've got like three kinds of ebooks already. Leaders it last and okay Google Play ebook and okay, a random story ebook. So these guys of three ebooks are going to practice, okay, are going to, to help practice your pronunciation for, okay, for efficient flow of ideas. So after listening to Win, I understand, okay, your, your, okay, your plot, uh, your presentation plot, P-L-O-T, it means key ideas. But uh, but it seems like uh, you haven't practiced uh, the pronunciation or the flow of reading, which leads to your okay your tone okay the tone of your of, of your accent makes uh, uh, makes it very difficult for for your ideas to be heard thoroughly and understandably. So please practice your pronunciation, not only Taiwan, but every student in the class. Because okay, because it's like 20% of the class has already got uh, IELTS above 5.5. And 30% of the class have already got Cambridge, Cambridge degree. So okay, uh, equivalent to IELTS 5.5 or IELTS 5.0. So, okay, so generally looking at the English if, uh, efficiency levels of the class, we, we are sure you can compete with each other for, okay, for a little bit fun and interest in studying, but please try to push harder on the pronunciation balance of all skills in English. So that is it for Hongming's okay, presentation commands and a little bit of advice given the good to help Hongwen and also all of you guys to catch back your flow of ideas, your, okay, your speaking rhythm. You need to get your speaking rhythm. Pronunciation practice, the only way, the best way of all. So right now, anybody else wanna speak up, please raise your hand. I'm going to uh, end the recording function because Hongwen has already stopped present uh, have, has already finished her presentation and I also done with my commands. So right now I'm going to end the recording function.